Hello everyone, welcome to Fanny Craddock show. <laughs> if you don't know who Fanny Craddock was, Google it. So I've got about an hour till I have to go to the gym and I thought I would prepare my dinner for tonight. So this is something that I do when I don't feel very inspired. I want something quick that doesn't require lots of cooking. I usually feel a bit tired after the gym and in the evening don't feel like cooking. So this is something easy that you just do in one pot. So you will need like an oven proof dish, chicken, any chicken you like, breast, leg, whatever. I'm going to use two chicken breasts because this is just for the two of us. Uh, some Mediterranean vegetables, I'm going to use feta, aubergine and courgette. Uh, three potatoes, I like potatoes, olive oil and some spices of your choice. And what I've got here is this Polish um, spice mix of paprika and herbs. This is one of those that comes you know, with the bag that you put chicken in a bag and put those spices in and it cooks and it's really nice and juicy. But I am not using the bag. I will show you what I'm doing. So I'm going to dice everything that I have. I want the chicken to be in smaller pieces so it doesn't require a very long time of cooking because I don't want the vegetables to get to charcoal. So the smaller the pieces, the quicker it will cook. I'm also going to dice the potatoes in their skins and they will go all together in that dish. So I also have a big glass bowl and I will pour some oil into it and then I will put all the spices in there and everything that I've diced will go in there. I will mix it up, then put it in to that oven proof dish, put cling film over it, stick it in the fridge and be ready to cook. So let me dice everything. Okay, so this is how big my chicken is. And then here you see the vegetables. I've put the oil in here. I don't know how much I've put in there. I just did it by eye. Hold on, I need scissors. So I've never tried this one, but what you can do is just put your own paprika in, salt, pepper. I sometimes do it. You know that um, spice mix that you get with your chicken fajita kit? I sometimes put that, but I'm putting it all in. Mix it. And now I'm going to put the chicken in here. And all the veggies it looks so much but you know this all will cook down yes yeah, so basically mix it well and then Put it all in that dish and voila, I probably put it um, on 180 my oven and cook it for about 35 minutes. Also, when I'm cooking it about halfway through, I will mix it. So there, that's your dinner. I'm going to put that in the fridge now. It's gonna marinate all day. And then I will just put it in the oven in the evening for about 35 minutes and it will be ready. 
yeah so that's a really quick thing to do and like I said you can change it up every time depending what um, spices you put in there this thing I have never tried before so I thought I'd try it if I remember I will show it to you tonight um, to see what is what it looks like right I better go and get ready for the gym now here it is our dinner straight from the oven in the end I cooked it for almost 50 minutes I checked it after 35 and oh it's steaming <laughs> and it wasn't quite ready but it looks delicious so we are going to try it now there is my son my leech that's come to eat me out of my food <laughs> look at all this bacon <laughs> I know you haven't seen Max for ages, but he's well. I am alive. I'm not dead. Yeah, he's well and alive. <coughs> just not living here. So I'm just not living here. <laughs> show us your. Um, show us your cut injury. He's got two cuts, and look what they've done to him. Not both of them. It wasn't a gang gang <laughs> effort. It was a, one of the. That's cuts. why I wouldn't have a cut. Hello, my lovelies so i have been filming i just filmed a couple of videos looking exactly the same but when you've got time you have to do it i just wanted to pop in to tell you about this so remember when i hold this the iconic london prep set and tan this tanning mist that's what i've got on right now and I'm pretty impressed so I thought I will tell you about it so you know I normally use Yutan tanning water and I really like it but this is a bit darker and I think I really like the color of it as well so this comes into I don't know if they are colors this one is in glow so there is original one i think and glow and i can't remember now if the glow is the darker one or the original one is darker i can't remember but i will put in the description box so this one looks see through like this but you have to shake it and can you see it looks really pearly so I thought that when you spray it, it gives you color already. It doesn't, but what it gives you is this, not shimmer, glow, beautiful glow. So it looked so lovely straight away. You spray it from quite a distance. Close your eyes, obviously, and your mouth. Um, and I also use like a big kabuki brush then to blend it in. I think Iconic London actually sells nice big kabuki brush with this short handle. I think I actually have it now thinking about it. I use some other little kabuki brush, but now I've said it, I'm sure I have that brush from Iconic London. Have to raid my drawers. Anyway, it's lovely. So I sprayed it on last night on my face and I sprayed just like my neck and up to here. So, you know, if I have something with a lower neckline, you see it. And I spray it on my hands up to about here. <laughs> I look amazing naked. But to be honest, I don't have to spray. I've already told you this before. Can you see my arms already look like they are tan but that's not a tan that's sun damage <laughs> so my my top of my arms is quite brown so i only have to do it like to my wrist i like the color of it it's very even but probably because i blend it in with the brush so i spray it all over wait about 30 seconds and then blend it in and also once it's dry you can see very very subtle shimmer so i think this is really good imagine in the summer you already maybe have a bit of tan but you spray that on before you go out 
on your legs everywhere and you will your skin will look really glowy slightly shimmery it's not like you know some of those sprays are like straight up highlighter no this has just a very subtle shimmer that you will see in a light like a bright light or sunshine and then while you're walking around your tan is developing at the same time so i am quite impressed with this i might even prefer it to the u tan it looks gorgeous doesn't it and because of that color when you mix it i thought it must give you slight color because you know but I couldn't see it. To me, I just look, looked glowy. Do you want to know about my makeup? I had to have very light makeup on my um, lids because I was doing a video for something, something that required light makeup. Uh, but I did this with, I don't think this is available anymore, the Stars in Your Eyes palette from Charlotte Tilbury. That was probably her first big palette. i tell you something. The first row, Love Eyes. It's the best. Look, I've hit the pan on this shimmery one. That's what I've got on my eye because it is the most beautiful peachy shimmer, but like really light peach. And even though in the little quads you have similar shadows but none of them are exactly like this one and i am so so upset i might have to write to charlotte tilbury to bring back that eyeshadow actually if she just brought that out on its own as a single eyeshadow i will buy it that's how much i love this eyeshadow you can tell so yes that's what i've got on my eyes and on my lips I feel very summery because I've got this tan and I quite like a bright lip in a summer. Um, this is the lip liner that I have on. It goes so well with this lipstick, but I don't know if this is still available. This is from Kiko and it was from the Sicilian Notes collection that came out, I don't know, four or five years ago. Or maybe it's just called Sicilian Notes. Oh no, it's 04. So that's the number. So I think in that collection, Sicilian Notes, there was few uh, lip liners. This is 04. Maybe you can still get it somewhere on eBay or somewhere. But this goes so nicely and it's so bright. Right, let me swatch it for you actually. Look at it. It's really really bright and with that I've got the Charlotte Tilbury Coachella Coral so these go so well together and when I use this combo if I want my uh, uh, lips a bit more shiny I top it off with that one and this is the Dior I will never see what oh 765 gloss look at that combo beautiful it's one of my favorite summer lip combos that lip liner is quite hard to get off yes so my earrings are very old i haven't worn big hoops for ages i just felt really summery today because of the tan it makes me feel so much better these hoops are really old i bought them in Cotel in Glass in Spain years ago. My white sweatshirt is from Marks and Spencers. I'll have a look because they seem to do these sweatshirts all the time in different colors. So if I can find it, I will leave you the link to it as well. I love it because, you know, I like white and this is the whitest white, like snowy, snowy white. And I love that. Yeah, so this is like my summer makeup. And, you know, I usually have my eyes done really strong. But I love that. But I don't feel when I'm pale, I feel that if I just have that on my eyes, it washes me out. That's why I do stronger makeup. But in the summer, as soon as I have tan, I just like something really light, mascara, and I'm done. 
Right, that's all I... Why did I come... Oh, I was talking about this. Yeah, I just really wanted to tell you that because I did it last night and I'm really, really pleased with it. So I would highly recommend this. Right, my lovelies, I will see you later. Good morning, my lovelies. Um, Paul and I are going to town. We're going to look around the shops and have lunch. And I just wanted to show you what I wear. This is basically what I wear every time. And I was thinking to myself that I should completely stop buying like really elegant going out clothes because I just wear this. I just want to be comfortable and my outfit in a in a winter is usually joggers and some sort of hoodie or jeans and hoodie or a jumper and then I've been wearing these all the time these are those um, boots from River Island they've sold out now everything I'm wearing is sold out um, this hoodie is from the white company and the Zara gilet I don't know they might still have the gilets in stock but um, the rest is sold out and that's basically all I want to wear it's comfortable not too stiff you know I don't want to wear high heels I've remember I bought these uh, beautiful black boots knee-high boots with heel I wore them once so yes if I'm going in the evening somewhere to a restaurant I will dress up a bit but I just want to be comfy and funky and that's all I want to do. So I think I'm going to be buying more what we call lockdown clothing, <laughs> lockdown sweatshirts and like loungewear basically. I don't know if it's my age or the lockdowns that did it that we were all stuck at home and just got used to being comfortable let me know if you are like this good morning my lovelies so you know we went to town that wasn't yesterday a couple of days ago it was very nice we don't often um, go to town and, and look around the shops and Paul is worse than a woman he bought himself so much stuff honestly he's worse than me if you can believe it but I bought some things and one of them is this I love it so much I hope the color comes as bright as it is you know how much I love those fluorescent bright colors and Paul loves them on me as well so to be honest we walked into the shop and he first saw this this jumper and he said oh my god you have to have it this is so nice um yes Paul likes shopping so I'm lucky in that respect he will go with me around the shops and wait for me to try things on um so I'm quite lucky in that respect I mean he he probably wouldn't want to do it every week but now and again he likes it so yes I bought three jumpers like I need any more jumpers but I just couldn't resist um, and it was in phase 8 the sun is coming out they were all from phase 8 so hang on let me see if I can stand up right you can see it so this one is in size small they come up quite big it's got slightly fluted sleeves and if you definitely you have to tuck it in because otherwise it's just like that so you see even though this is small it's quite generous so if you are going to get it get um, at least size smaller because you see this is small and it's still quite um, quite what quite loose but it's the only thing is let me tell you it's got wool in it so I knew it as soon as I put it on because you know what I'm like with wool but it's not too bad it's not bothering me 
I can tell that it's got wool in it, but some like pure wool jumpers or mohair, I can't do it. But I think this one has some mohair in it. Hang on. It's like 500 labels here. Right. It has, it has some nylon, some polyester, I think. It has 6% of mohair. And, oh, is that it? I thought it had some wool in it as well. No, it doesn't. Just more hair. So that's probably what I can feel. Uh, but yeah, I really, really love it. Then I got this one, like a nice minty green. I wasn't that sure about it, but Paul said that um, it looked nice as well in that color. It, when I'm looking at the screen, it comes out a bit um, pale, but it's like a nice minty color. And I think I got that one in small as well. Yeah, this one is in small. Shall I put it on? Do you want to see it on? I put it on, hold on. So this is how this one looks. It's a bit longer at the back. Um, and this one is like really stretchy. So you must have some elastin in it. So again, you, you could tuck it in if you wanted to, you know. But yeah, this one is quite nice. And you know, it's a bit lighter, so like for spring. And then I got this cashmere one. And this is so pretty. I only saw this color, but when I looked online, they had quite a few different colors of that cashmere jumper. This one, I think I got in medium because I tried it in medium and it looked fine. It's co uh, the color is called Pink Tulip. Oh, and also it was 15% off online as well. So hopefully, well, I don't know, when you see this video, might not be, maybe it was just, you know, like sometimes they do just a couple of days of sale. So let me put this one on to show you. And here is the cashmere one it's nice and quite thin cashmere you can almost like see through through it my jeans but yeah this one is sort of what do you call it bat wing so and I love the color as well you know I like pink so yeah this one is so lovely I love cashmere so that's what I bought right let me put my yellow one back on <laughs> yes yeah, so that was quite nice. I really love them. I don't know why I'm buying jumpers. It's March now. But to be honest, when that day we went out was really, really cold. And you know when you are shopping, you, you tend to shop for the weather that it is that day. And it was so cold and that, and that was so warm and cozy. This is really warm, obviously. Oh, and I bought the DZ rings. I love that sort of shape earrings. They were only like 15 pounds. They are, you know, not gold or anything, but they were from phase eight as well. So yes, it was quite a successful trip. Then we went for a cup of coffee. Then we went and had uh, lunch. So it was quite nice. I wouldn't, I'm not gonna say we spent some quality time together because we are together all the time. You know, Paul is home based, so he's, he works from home so we are together 24 7 god knows how we haven't killed each other yet uh, and you know we go a lot for walks with louis so we do have a lot of quality time where we talk we do our own things in the evenings um i don't really watch tv i don't watch anything on tv he watches his own things i watch everything on my laptop if it's netflix or um I, I watch a lot of stuff, like even the news, I can watch that on my laptop. So I watch everything on my laptop. Oh yes, and I have a new, um, new obsession. You know, I told you the other day, or the other week, about watching that um, Bush solo. You know, that woman that builds things. Now, I, I don't know, it just popped up on my recommended videos, this acrylic, acrylic painting, but 
very different not like remember i was at some point into the acrylic pouring but this is different um they like squeeze little blobs of different colors of acrylic and then just mash it up use even toothbrush and like different things that you wouldn't think to use for painting and end up with beautiful picture and you know me i think i can do everything so i'm thinking to myself hmm i still have some acrylic paint and some canvases sure i can do that <laughs> so watch me i'll be painting soon <laughs> honestly um, I'm quite itching to start doing my gardening, but I can't because now and again we still have a frosty night, so I can't start anything till probably like end of March, beginning of April, but I'm itching to do that, so I don't know, for now I'm just still learning about it. <laughs> there is a big pigeon in my garden. I feel so sorry for the birds because you know we was feeding them all winter and the mess they've made they pulled everywhere all over my decking on my fence everywhere and it's getting warmer now and we're thinking they can go out now and find their own food but they still come up in the morning looking for it and Paul is feeling very, very sorry for them and guilty, so I don't know. We might throw some on the garage roof for them because it's really sad and I think the pigeon just come to see if he could get some. <laughs> what else happened? Max came over for roast dinner last night, which was nice. He will never refuse invitation for dinner because it means he doesn't have to cook for himself. Um, because his girlfriend is away on some course to do with work so um, so yes so he came for dinner so that was nice nothing else interesting happened oh you always ask um, about my mum my mum is doing absolutely fine and um, she's been going out a lot with her friend her friend is looking for a property to buy so she's been going around with her helping her look for a property so yeah she says she's she gets lonely you know especially in the evenings and i said to her well maybe we need to think about you coming back earlier you know back to england and she said no i'm still fine i think she's so used to the nice weather um because there is more to do imagine here when it's really cold and miserable in the winter and you're stuck on your own in a house it's whereas there she can always pop out for coffee see people so and to be honest i think she's lived in spain now longer than in in the uk how long has she been yeah she's been in spain now 20 20 21 years whereas i think she lived in england 15 something like that so so yeah she's been longer in spain now than than in england so she's really used to it so i don't know what's gonna happen you know thankfully she, you know she's healthy she's fit um she's okay up here still so you know as as long as she's happy and and wants to stay there that's how it's gonna be Hopefully we will, I will visit her more often now, you know, the rest, all the restrictions are gone and everything. It's just Louis, you know. I wish I could just take Louis on a plane with me, but like on the plane. Not like you take him in cages somewhere, no, no, he would die. Just on a plane, but if I had a private jet I could do it, but I don't. <laughs> Alright my lovelies, I'm going to finish this vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week and stay fabulous. Bye.